So before we continue, before we move on to Docker, there's a couple of things that I want to fix with this application. So the first one is going to be removing this space that I have here. So I'm going to go over here, nope, went too fast, and then uh, just delete this space that I have here. So I have a space here, I'm just going to remove it. And we also need the last name. You can see that I put the last name when I was first creating this file. I put in the last name and then I delete it. So I'm going to paste this down and then I'm going to delete and then put the last name there. So this should give us the last name and then we need the space here. So you have the first name and the last name and everything else. So I wanted to fix these things first. And before we go talk about Docker, I want to give you guys a brief introduction. Obviously, there's no time for me to like give you a full tutorial on Docker because it's kind of a not super complex, but it's not a very simple subject. So I'm going to go over to my third workspace and then I'm going to show you a little bit about Docker. So Docker is really a way to isolate processes running on a computer. And this definition is really not doing it justice, but you can think of it as having an application running in an isolated environment with everything that the application needs, like all the files or the libraries or the requirements and everything. And Docker has taken over the deployment and hosting of things on the internet because it's so easy. You don't need an actual virtual machine. You don't need a bunch of computers. You can have one computer and then you have a bunch of Docker containers running on it. So hopefully you're a little bit familiar with Docker. And again, you can, you know, look at some tutorial online and check out this page and see what Docker is all about. But you will need to have Docker installed on your computer and you also will need to have the Docker Compose, which is kind of an extension of Docker and it allows you to run containers in an in easier way, like multiple different containers together. So if you're really, really new to Docker, um, this is probably going to be confusing to you and I don't want that to happen to you. So I would say you think you can take a break and then maybe like spend a day or two, uh, you know, learning a little bit about Docker and then you can come back and then finish the course. But just know that you're going to need to have Docker install and you need also Docker Compose, which is kind of an extension of Docker, which allows you to create multiple different containers in one file. So let's go back to my first workspace and I'm going to create a file here. So I'm going to do E and I'm going to call it Docker Compose. That YAML. So that's going to be a YAML file. Okay, so I, I have Docker installed and I already have Docker Compose installed, and I need to create a Docker Compose file. And this is how you use Docker Compose. You create a Docker Compose file and then you put all your services inside of this file. This file is going to be created at the root of the application. So make sure the Docker file is at the root of the application. 